Freeview is a four and a half year project that started in March 2013 and is co-funded by the European Union. The project provides evidence on if and how fully electric vans and trucks are viable alternatives to conventional diesel ones. Within Freeview, we deployed electric freight vehicles in eight of Europe's largest cities. Amsterdam, Lisbon, London, Madrid, Milan, Oslo, Rotterdam and Stockholm. The vehicles ranged from small car-derived vans all the way up to 18-tonne trucks, transporting a variety of goods. The data we received from the vehicles covers 757,000 kilometres, the equivalent of 19 times around the Earth's equator. We found that freight electric vehicles are well suited to inner city freight operations. The range of electric freight vehicles currently available on the market is sufficient for most operations, and less noise and engine rattling mean they are more comfortable to drive. The environmental benefits are clear. Zero tailpipe emissions mean no NOx and particulate matter, unlike current diesel exhaust emissions with significant negative health impacts. But the reduction in CO2 emissions of on average 45% is significant too. Electrifying freight fleets will therefore significantly reduce negative health impacts and lower costs to comply with legal air quality obligations. If, in London alone, we could electrify 10% of the freight fleet by 2021, we could save just under £900 million from reduced health impacts and abatement costs. So if it all makes so much sense, why don't we see more electric vans and trucks on our roads? Vehicle supply is still limited, especially for trucks. Information on vehicle finders on the Freeview website will help you locate those that are currently available. For electric trucks, it is also still difficult to make a positive business case, but as more and bigger suppliers enter the market and battery prices fall, this is changing. Buying the adequate battery packs and maximising the kilometres driven will have a positive impact on the business case. Most operators charge their vehicles overnight at their own depot, but some also charge during the day if and when required. If you electrify a larger fleet and charge at your depot, you might experience local electricity supply constraints. Contact your local distribution network operator early on in the process to identify possible constraints. Despite these difficulties, most of our industry partners that trialled electric freight vehicles as part of Freeview have decided to expand their electric fleet further. Heineken now successfully run a 19-tonne truck in Rotterdam and one 12-tonne and seven 13-tonne trucks in Amsterdam to distribute beer. UPS have electrified nearly a third of their central London fleet and are looking to further increase this share. The Lisbon Post started with 10 electric vans in 2013, increased to 17 vehicles during the project and has plans to add 10 vans per year over the next three years. When introducing electric freight vehicles to your fleet, you will need to gain new knowledge and establish new relationships. This requires some time. Do start the process now so that you are ready to electrify larger parts of your fleet when policy changes and vehicle prices come down. As public authorities do provide the right support for the future uptake of electric freight vehicles. The clear environmental benefits and significant future cost savings these vehicles allow for provide very good reasons to act now. Freeview has shown that electric freight vehicles work for inner city logistics operations. Let's make electric urban freight the new normal. Let's clean up the air and reduce CO2 emissions so that we can enjoy living, working and shopping in our fantastic cities. Please see www.freeview.eu for more information.